With a little trick, PhraseExpress also supports formatted text in macros, for example in forms. Here you see a form example, and based on the input, it can output formatted text. Let's see how this is done in PhraseExpress. This is a phrase containing the macro. This is a checkbox macro. And by default, as an output, you can only enter unformatted text. There are just no text formatting options. However, there is a solution. Here we have prepared another phrase containing a formatted phrase. You can format it as you like. Okay. And now we go back to the other phrase. Open the checkbox macro again. And instead of entering the output text here, we right click and select Programming, Insert Phrase. Then we select the desired phrase, which can be formatted. Now the checkbox macro outputs the linked formatted phrase we just selected. We also had a date selector, the calendar macro. By default, the date would be output directly into the phrase, which contains the four macros. To use it in the formatted phrase, we need to store the input of the user into a variable. To do that, click Process Output, Add Processing Step, and then Set Variable. Then define any name, for example, as preselected selected date. And now the output of the calendar macro will be stored in the variable instead of being output. Okay. Now we switch to the formatted phrase, and now you can output the variable contents here. Right click, select Insert Macro, Programming, and Output Variable, and choose the variable with the desired information, which was selected date. The macro token will inherit the current formatting, which you can change, of course. Just highlight the macro token, then you can apply another text color or another formatting. The text color is not seen, but it will be output the way you formatted it.